It's Run B360. Using a keyboard and mouse on the Xbox One is one of the most requested features. So let's see how to set up a keyboard and mouse on the Xbox One. But also look at how the experience actually is within the Xbox menu, its games and apps. Just don't forget to like and subscribe. Using a keyboard and mouse on the Xbox One is as simple as plugging it in one of the USB ports. Once you plugged it in, you can use the keyboard in the Xbox menu partially. But the usage of the mouse is a different story, as you cannot use the mouse in the Xbox menu. One thing you can do if you go to Profile and System, then to Settings, then to Devices and Connections, is to change the pointer speed and swap primary and secondary mouse buttons. But that's about it, at least for the Xbox menu. The keyboard on the other hand doesn't have any settings in the Xbox menu, but it does have some shortcuts, which you can see here. Just pause the video if you want to note something down. So what about the games and their in-game settings? When we look at Warzone on the Xbox Series X or S, it even works in the menu. You just need to enable keyboard and mouse support in the menu or else it won't work. Unlike the mouse settings of the Xbox itself, you do have a lot of mouse configuration options within Warzone, which can be handy if you want to tweak the settings to your personal needs. Looking at the keyboard, you get a lot more configuration options, from key mapping to anything else you can think of. It just works fantastic, which makes the gameplay a lot better, at least if you have some keyboard and mouse skills, unlike I do. Within Halo Infinite, you also get almost similar configuration options like in Warzone. You can even change the key mapping for your vehicle control. And you don't even need to enable keyboard and mouse support. It works within the single player, as also within the multiplayer. And you can even enable or disable crossplay. So you will or will not be matched against PC players. But that doesn't even matter anymore, as the playing grounds have been leveled. Because you can also use a keyboard and mouse now on your Xbox One, Series X or S. On Fortnite, you get everything you would want from a keyboard and mouse. Excellent support on key mapping and fast and responsive gameplay to take you to the next level. Now maybe I can finally start practicing my building skills. Or maybe just stick to improving my aiming. Anyway, you will be doing a lot more dancing after making more kills with a keyboard and mouse on the Xbox One or Series X. When we look at the apps, they seem to work fine, as you can do almost everything you would expect from these productive apps. So if you haven't got a laptop or PC at your disposal, it would just do fine for some schoolwork or a small project. Streaming apps like Netflix, Disney and so on only work partially, mostly with a keyboard, but not with the mouse. And the same goes for Discord. But when you use an internet browser, it works just perfectly and you can absolutely use it as you would expect. At the moment, the rest of the apps isn't even worth the effort. Overall, it's nice that the keyboard and mouse also work on the older Xbox generation and have the same quality as on the Xbox Series X and S. But if you want to actually see how it works on the Xbox Series X or see all the games that are supported with keyboard and mouse on the Xbox, click on one of the next videos or hit the like and subscribe button to see more content in the future. See you on the next video.